Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we will be adding custom characters to the game. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, go watch it, since you can't add characters without following those simple steps. Let's start. I will be adding Carol from a mod I found on Game Banana, link in description. The first thing you need to do is find the character PNG and XML files. Next, rename these to your character's name underscore assets. Now, you can open the XML file and start editing code. Change the image path to the PNG name, and change all the other animation names to your character's name plus the action. Make sure to save the file by pressing Ctrl S, then exit out of the text editor. Now, you can drag the PNG and XML files into assets, shared, images. Now, go to Assets, Preload, then Data, and open up CharacterList.txt. Add your character name in lowercase. Now, open up Character.hx. Scroll down until you see where the characters are defined. Since Carol is based on the dad assets, I will copy his code and make adjustments. Change the case text to your character's name in lowercase. You can now change the image path to your PNG name. Change the animation titles by replacing your character name with the old one. To make a custom icon for your character, use a program such as Photoshop or GIMP. Open up IconGrid.png in your image editing software. You can now draw or add your icon. I got this one from another mod. Now, export IconGrid as a PNG and overwrite the old one. Go to healthicon.hx and copy a random line. Replace the word in quotes with your character's name. The number decides what square on icon grid the icon should be. The first number is the default icon, and the second number is the lose icon. Count on icon grid what squares your icon is on, but remember that the first square counts as 0. Mine are 24 and 25. You can now build your game. Once the game is loaded, start a level and hit 7 on your keyboard. Click on the tab labeled Song, and select your character in the drop down menu. You can see that our character is offset at a weird position. We can fix this with a little coding. Go to placedit.hx in line 540. 
You can see that I added some if statements that check if the enemy is our new character. If it is true, nothing happens, but if it is false, it will add the standard enemy offsets. I applied these for all level scenarios. Now, to fix the player offset, this is a little trickier. It detects what level the player is in, and if the player is our new character, it will apply a custom offset. If it is false, we apply the normal offset that was already in the code. Now, if we load a new level, you can see that our character works as both an enemy and a player. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.